Did you enjoy those? Yeah, that was pretty good. I feel like you should be mic'd up at all times. Yeah. Did you, did you want your own show? Have For you sure. Have you ever approached about your own show? Yeah, plenty of times. You know, I'm, um, I gotta get the best offers, you know, so, you know, I can't just go anywhere. I can't, I gotta take my talents to the best place. Yeah, you can probably <laughs> Right, yep. so, but nah, Bob's is pretty good. It was warm, pretty tasty. I had to yeah. try something else, though. I would look forward to Twitter to let them tell me where to go next. <laughs> Nick, what's your asking price if that given you know, the different pitches? Like... I need Kardashian prices, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's expensive, you know? Kardashian problems. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, felt good to get out there. Um, you know, just a little windy because, you know, get back out there in Denver is pretty tough. How tough is it? What's the rate with two stars? I know the practice. You're always trying to get up and down. Yeah. How tough is it to stay in shape? You're getting really good. It's tough. It me back of my, my younger days, you know, when I got to come in and play three on three with the guys and just. You know, try to get it in as much as you can. So, um, but you know, I'm gonna stay with it, stick with it. Um, pretty much, there haven't been no off days for us. You know, uh, when they said no practice, we still got to come in and get you know lift, and uh, I try to get some conditioning in while I'm here and uh, work on my shots and all that too. So. And Nick, Steve was uh, real crazy. I mean, you know, you want to play uh, as many minutes as you can, but just. You accepting the reality, not complaining, giving you that mindset. Um, that way. You know, it's a long season. You know, I've been in this situation, you know, a couple years back. Uh, plus, it's a championship team. You know, um, sit back and watch these guys and how they go out there and play and how they work. You know, it's, it's you know, it's, it helps me too. How much does it help also that it's like, it's not like this is the end of it, like you're saying, you're still going to get chances to play, everything can change. Oh, it's great, you know, uh, for the coach to talk to you and let you know where you're at, and it's not keeping you in the dark, you know, like some coaches I know back in the day, you know, so, uh, yeah, it feels good. <laughs> <laughs> not sure who you're referring to there. Is he basically calling team before every game, like, hey, this is probably going to happen? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm not just going in the game blindsided. You know, uh, so uh, he pretty much talks to me pretty much every day, harp on me about things I need to do and uh, different situations. So it's been good. Does he, does he talk about his own playing experience, about you know, being in and out of the rotation? Yeah, for sure. Uh, talked about how uh, he got traded to a new team, been on different teams, and how he had to adjust to playing with Spurs and playing with different teams in school. He's been great so far. Yeah, he's a uh, you played for a lot of coaches. Uh, can you tell us about uh, your experience with Steve Kerr? Maybe where he ranks among among you know <laughs> coaches you played for? Um, you want me to say he last? <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's uh, probably at the top. You know, uh, I, uh, I had a couple good coaches in my day. But I also like Luke Walton too, so he's pretty cool. Uh, but he learned from Steve. So I said I had to put Steve at the top and Dan Tony. <laughs> Steve was also mentioning like his own playing career, just the reality of where he was in the NBA. Like he didn't always have opportunities to get shots. And, yeah. You know that great challenges with not game shots, but you're not ball right away. How do you kind of fight out of it? What's kind of your perspective on that? Um, you know, my mindset is, is I gotta be the microwave when I get here. You know, uh, I'm used to playing that six man six man role. Uh, come in and scoring bunches, but, you know, for me, I just got to adjust the, the style of play first. Is it, is it a tough adjustment, though, being a guy who's been, played a lot of minutes in his career to not knowing necessarily day-to-day <laughs> -day how yeah. much you're going to play? For sure, it, it's tough, you know, but um, it's an adjustment, you know. You know, this is the number one team in the league. You know? Take a long view of that. Does it help you to think that this team could probably be potential for a ring again? You play your part. Yeah, play your part. You know, I've been in this league for a while, so they pretty much know what I could do. I'm just trying to, you know, play my role and uh, fit in where I can. You know. So.